Hey everyone, Nefichel Tech here and today I would like to show you how you can install Incognito on your Nintendo Switch so you can actually remove your serial number from your Nintendo Switch and connect to the internet without getting banned by Nintendo. So for this video of course you will need to be running a custom firmware on your Nintendo Switch. I do have several videos about how to install a custom firmware if you're on either firmware version 10, 10.0.1 or 10.0.2 and either if you'd like to use a clean bare minimum version of Atmosphere or if you like uh, a bundle like Cosmos, I have videos for both of those. So of course I will leave links to those guides in the video description down below. And just to show you what I'm running at the moment, I will just go to System and here you can see them on firmware version 10.0.2. I have Atmosphere version 0.12.0 installed and I'm running the custom firmware on an MU MMC partition. That's how I like to set up my custom firmware. And in this uh, guide, I will actually show you how you can install Incognito, which will work both for your system NAND as well as for your MU MMC partition. And of course, I just want to remove it from my MU MMC partition. So what you need to do is you need to reboot to Hackety first of all, because we need to um, go and push a Incognito RCM bin file. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to uh, boot to Hackety, or at least that's my preferred option. So you can just power off your Nintendo Switch, boot to the recovery mode, then boot to Hackety. Or you can go to your album if you have Cosmos or any other tool that allows you to reboot directly into Hackety. So I'd like to use the Cosmos Toolbox, and then just reboot to Hackety from here. Reboot the system, and from within the latest Hackety release, we can actually connect our switch to our PC using a USB cable. So that's pretty neat. And then if we go to tools, we can go to USB tools and we can go to SD card. And if you tap SD card, it will mount our USB device as a USB must storage device to our PC. And over on the PC, um, you need to go to the GBay 10 forum thread. And right here, we do have incognito RCM as a RAR file that also works on firmware version 10.0, also 10.0.1 and on 10.0.2 as I will show you in a second. Just make sure to download this RAR file and place it on your desktop. So if you have it on your desktop, it should some look something like this. You can simply copy it, go to Windows File Explorer, go to your USB device. So in this case, that's, this is actually the SD card from a Nintendo Switch. And now you can go to Bootloader, go to Payloads and just copy over the incognito RCM bin file to the payloads folder. And I'm not really sure if I have to reboot into Hackety right now. And let's just close out this menu by pressing the volume up and volume down button at the same time. Go to close, close out of this menu, go to home. Now, if you go to payloads, yeah, there it is. So it shows up incognito RCM bin file. Just tap on it and we can unplug from our PC, of course. And now if I turn this switch around, maybe I have to refocus. And now you can see that we can make a backup of our SysNand, a backup of MUMMC, and we can enable uh, Incognito. So I just like to make a backup of both SysNand and MUMMC, just in case something goes wrong. Uh, I always have this backup at hand. And then you want to go to either Incognito SysNand, which I didn't recommend, but Incognito MUMMC is quite safe to use. So just go to that option and then press any key to go back to the main menu. So now let's scroll down to payloads and go to reboot payload.bin file. Of course, you can also just reboot to the recovery mode and inject either Fusey or Hackety manually. And just go to reboot payload, which will boot me back to Hackety. I can go to launch and then I can go to custom firmware MUMMC. And this will boot my switch back to the Atmosphere custom firmware. So just give this a second and then I will show you that my serial number is removed and that we can actually connect to the internet. So I just wait for a few seconds for the switch to boot to the custom firmware. Then unlock the switch, go to system settings, scroll down to system and now if I scroll down all the way to serial numbers you can see that my console has no longer a serial number and now I'm safe to disable flight mode on my Nintendo Switch, allow my Switch to connect to the internet, I've already set it up. 
And now if I go to the album, I should also be able to access the Homebrew App Store. And there we go. So we've successfully connected to the internet, which is quite cool. So that's basically how you can use incognito on firmware version 10 or above. I hope you enjoyed this video. As I said, I will leave all the relevant links, of course, down in the video description. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.